Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. In an upscale scorched subdivision, a fire team deals with one of the last hot spots of the Black Forest Fire. They look like real firefighters, because they are, but these men aren't here to protect the neighborhood. They're here to protect just this one home. They're private firefighters, hired by insurance companies. From a financial perspective, it makes sense. The cost of a private fire crew is far less than the cost of replacing a home. So I think you're really seeing it here in the West because we do have the drought, we do have the higher wildfire risk and wildfire exposure, and customers are looking for these types of, of avenues to further protect their property. According to one industry executive, 10% of the insurance policyholders in Western states have the private firefighter service as part of their homeowner's insurance. By next year, it could be 20%. In a big fire, having your own private fire department right in the driveway, I mean, who wouldn't want that? But there are questions, like, what would they do if your neighbor's house caught on fire? Anything? Or what if this crew got in trouble? Fighting a major wildfire requires a huge amount of coordination between local, state, and federal departments under a single command. But private crews get their orders from their own company dispatcher, and ultimately, the insurance companies. The commander of the Black Forest Fire has mixed feelings about the growing trend. Rich Harvey likes the idea of more fire trucks, more firefighters. But then how do they fold into our organization? Because they don't really work for us. They're kind of out there and I don't have direct control of them, yet I got ultimate responsibility for the fire. And if those private crews got into trouble, Harvey says, of course, he'd send help. But that's part of the dilemma. If I'm helping them because they got in trouble, I'm diverting resources from my primary mission to help somebody that's supposed to be part of the solution. So again, it's a dilemma. And about that other question, you know, the one where what would those private firefighters do if the neighbor's house caught on fire? I wanted to ask the insurance company just that in an interview that we had all lined up. And then quite suddenly, they canceled without any explanation. Aaron?